What are variables in Java and what are variable types? Hello, my friends, and welcome to Master Coding Channel. If you want to learn programming and start your coding career, you came to the right place. Hit subscribe and like so you help us make new tutorials. Let's begin discovering variables in Java. What are variables in Java? You are interested in making a $1 million Java application, right? So don't waste time and let's dive into this amazing language. Variables in Java are divided into two main sections, primitive and non-primitive. The primitive is uh, divided also to Boolean and numeric. The Boolean with the type or uh, having a type uh, variable called Boolean. A numeric has also a character which is containing a character variable and integral which, ha which has the two main sections, the integer and the floating point. Integer, byte, short, and long, that they are not uh, accepting the decimal the decimals for uh, for uh, decimal points and decimal values the floating point which accept the uh, decimal part the float and double and the non primitive we have the string array and etc we will learn about everything in this course so don't waste don't uh, be uh, frustrated just a very a quick uh, a very quick summary for what we are going to learn about the data types in Java. So primitive and non-primitive. The primitive have the boolean and numeric. Boolean is true or false. Numeric characters like A, B, C. Integral have integral which is a, a correct number which is a byte whole number which uh, may be 1, 2, 13, 15, uh, 1000. These are the integer part. The floating point, which is 15.7, 72.6. These are also um, maybe a float or double. And non-primitive, which uh, is string, array, and etc. Variables are containers for storing data values. So in Java, there are different types of variables. For example, the string that we have see that it is non-primitive, it is uh, a very quick uh, example for this is like uh, a stores a text such as hello. So this text is stored inside a string. So string values are surrounded by double quotes. Int stores integers whole numbers without decimals such as one two three one two three or minus one two three float stores floating no point numbers with decimals such as 19.9 and or minus 19.9 uh, don't worry we will uh, we will see that uh, every uh, data variable in a complete series in complete tutorials on everything so uh, don't be frustrated, just follow me and uh, step by step and we will guide you through Java. Boolean stores values with two states, true or false, car, car or character, stores single characters such as A B, or B, uh, B capital. Surrounded car values are surrounded by single codes. Now, Let's declare and create the variables. So declaring or creating variables is very easy in Java. To create a, value, a variable, you must specify the type and assign it a value. Remember these words. You need to specify the type. First of all, you, you need to, uh, to uh, understand and remember this uh, general formula. The type, the variable, equal to the value so you must specify the type which is a boolean string a float number in, uh, sorry integer whatever you want of the type variable the name of the variable here equal to the value 15 
15.3, true, hello, wh whatever you need for this value. Where type is the one of Java types such as int string or string and the variable is the name of the variable such as x or name. This, the equal sign is used to assign the values. So let's go to our IntelliJ and see uh, see how to create the variables. We I have created a new uh, a new uh, sort project. I will create a new class called uh, I will name it as test. In order to minimize and maximize the text using control and uh, the scroll, we go to the to file settings and we click on editor select general and then change size with control mouse wheel put it as three a tick and click apply and click ok now as i told you in order to create create variables variables remember this is the comments so the comments would be uh, two forward slashes the, the compiler and the Java would not con uh, execute this line. Uh, in order to do that, I will make an integer va uh, variable called a. I will give it a value called uh, value 12. So I have a variable called a, a type integer and the value equal to 12. In this way, I have created in the memory as a box having a variable called a and its value equal 12 stored inside it. So, to create a variable that should store text, look at, at the following example. Create a variable called, the string, uh, called name of type string and assign it to the value John string name john and system dot out dot print we see this uh, in previ previously so we are going to use it now back to our intellij let's make a like a public method public static void main this is the uh, this is the main method that we have seen in the syntax uh, video. So go back to syntax to know about uh, this, uh, this uh, method. Okay, args. And we, we are going to create here, to print, to print here, enter system system dot out dot print and, and and i go i'm going to print first let's uh, see the previously made uh, previously made the tutorial so i'm going just to print out a word called hello let's run let's run test and it's running and building so for that we are just creating a variable a and we are not using it because we are just putting the system dot out dot print we are going we are telling java that hey java go and print hello just to create an integer a variable called a and go and print hello so the console will be or the compiler will print the hello. Now let's try to uh, print 12. I removed this and in order to print variables, we are not going to put it inside, uh, inside to quotation because the compiler will print A. Let's run and see the, t the results. If we assign A, here we cannot use and print the variable the variable a in this way because the compiler will go 
and print the character A or the string A because A is inside the two quotations. Now let's remove it and add just A. I will remove this and put it inside the main because it would be a general. We will learn about access modifiers in later on. Now let's run and here we go. The compiler print uh, for us a value equal 12, which is the value of A. Now let's create another variable called uh, of type string, uh, string K equal uh, hello master coding channel. And remember, as I told you in the syntax video, we need to end every line with semicolon. Now, let's run and see what will do, what the compiler do. Will create a variable a and stores 12 inside it. It will create a variable called a string and it will store this uh, this text inside it. And the system, uh, the the compiler also will go and print the value of a. So it created k and does not use it. So in order to use it, we are going to assign it between the the value the uh, sorry the parentheses of the print ln so i'm telling here the system dot out print go and print the string k and here we go if we run the program hello master coding channel will be executed in this way we are going to we use the strings the variables of uh java uh, types so java variables have many types for that we can we are going to create float m equal to 12.25 okay for float there is a thing there is thing that we need to put f after it also in double double l equal to 17.2 and we end it for d just the float and double are, uh, we should put them uh, and end them with their uh, data types character. Now, let's create another uh, variable, boolean. We start by boolean, boolean uh, o equal to true. So boolean have true. We cannot assign it to 12 because the IDA will have an error change the variable o to int so our ide telling us that either change the data type to int or change the 12 to true or false so i will assign it to true and i will create a character t equal uh, remember the character with single quotation uh, i will put it f if we put a number, there is an error. So uh, there is, uh, sorry, not error, but it will create it uh, according to ASCII table that we are going to learn more and more about each data type in a very single uh, video. Now, system.out.print t, the, uh, first of all, the compiler, so, so I am I am going to uh, to um, like allow you to understand how the compilers work because it's very important to understand how Java works, how the compiler think, how the compiler start executing the the um, and the steps of execution of the compiler. So first of all, the compilers create the int a, string k, float m double l the boolean o the character t these are the steps of creating the variables moves to this line here system.out.print t so the compiler hey just go and bring the value of t it brings e and 
printed it out to the user at the screen and called E. In this way, we have learned about the variables in Java. So we uh, these are the types of and the bit range of uh, the uh, for each of uh, these variables. So the boolean will, will have one bit, true or false. The character is sixteen bit or two byte. It is zero to six five five three five. The byte is minus uh, one one to eight to one to seven. The short uh, this is the range. So I cannot create a byte that has hold a one thousand value. So let's try it byte uh, h equal 1000 i the ide would have an error because cast to byte cast to byte okay and maybe there is an error here because the error the the casting would solve it the range okay the range is one minus one to four because the byte would have only the range between um, minus one to eight and one to seven. The short sixteen byte or two bytes, sixteen bit or two uh, two bytes from this value to this value. The end from this value and this value. The long huge to huge. It is the longest one. Float varies and the double varies according to the compiler and according to the uh, system that you are running it along it now you can declare a variable without assigning the value and assign the value later what i'm talking about let's remove this i would create here a value of int a variable of type a and without specifying the A directly to 12 here, I can specify it to the next line. So I call A equal to 12 or one to three, and let's run and see. And here we go. Java compiler prints out the one to three variable or a value of A. Remember, creating the variable, this is the creating uh, the creation of the variable and assigning the value to it takes a place at the next line but if we didn't assign the value what would happen just creating the value it would be uh, an error java variable a might a, a java variable a might not have been initialized though so the variable would would obligatory and uh, should be assigned first to one to three whatever you want but you need to create and initialize the variable in order to be executed so let's run again and see the results here we go 12 okay note that if you assign a new value to an existing variable it will override the previous value I have created, for example, int a equal to 12. Now let's move to uh, another uh, line, next line, and give a the same variable uh, like uh, 66, okay? Let's run and see. So what would happen? It would take the, the newest value of a that we have assigned. So first of all, uh, guys, remember, um, it's very important to understand how the Java compilers work and execute. And there is uh, many exercises that we have uh, at the end of this chapter. And I hope uh, you, uh, you participate in the challenge and the exams and you will win, uh, the, you would win many uh, prizes and uh, and for that you should concentrate now int a equal to 12 the variable a has been created and it 
value of 12 is uh, added and assigned to it. Next, Java compiler or the next line a equal to 66. Here, the Java compiler removes the 12 and put it to 66. So uh, imagine that a at the first line would be 12. Java moves to the next line and removes the 12 and put it to 66. So in this way, Java execute the execute the program. Now a equal to 999, a equal to 777, and a equal to 1000. Please give me the answer at the comment of uh, this video. So please comment below the result for this uh, program what would be the result of this program please guys comment below and i would pin the right answer thank you guys see you next videos don't miss to subscribe to our youtube channel and rate us five stars on udemy